Are you considering enrolling in a JavaScript bootcamp in 2023? Well, if so, there's something I want to show you that may change the way you approach your learning pathway. Now, one thing about the coding bootcamp space is that the majority of bootcamps do focus on JavaScript exclusively. And there's reasons for that. JavaScript is really easy to get into. There's a lot of materials out there and there's a lot of jobs or are there? I'm Eric Wise from Skill Foundry and I'm about to show you something about JavaScript and the job market that a JavaScript only bootcamp isn't going to be keen to show you. Let's jump in. So here's the thing that most beginners aren't aware of. You see most entry level jobs are at large enterprises. And these large enterprises have backend systems that aren't developed and maintained in JavaScript. They use more traditional languages like Java, C++, and C Sharp. So what happens when the market tightens like it is in 2023 is these employers start looking for employees that are more dynamic and can work in both the front end and the back end of the stack. So what you'll find is that JavaScript alone just isn't enough. But don't take my word for it. I can demonstrate this with a quick search. Let's just use one of the most popular job engines, Indeed.com. Let's start with a search across the entire United States. Let's go ahead and type JavaScript. And this is without regards for entry level, mid level, whatever. And what we see here is that it returned 39,000 878 jobs. And that's a lot of jobs, entry level, mid level, senior level. It's like a buffet of opportunities for anybody skilled in JavaScript. But now let's put my knowledge of the market to the test. Let's start adding exclusions to our search query for those backend languages. You'll see that the scenario starts to change drastically. So let's say JavaScript, but not PHP and PHP isn't that popular of a language anymore. But when we rerun our search, we go from 38 to 36,000 jobs. And if we filter out another language like C sharp, you'll see that it drops to 27,000 jobs. And then when we filter out Java, you'll see again, it drops to 16,000 jobs. So at this point, I've only excluded three languages. And we've gone from about 40,000 jobs to about 17,000 jobs. So around 60% of the available JavaScript jobs, JavaScript alone is not enough. It needs to be paired with another traditional object-oriented programming language with Java and C Sharp being the most popular. So what that means is that if JavaScript is the only thing you know, the number of jobs is going to be a lot lower than you would expect if you just search for JavaScript like a beginner would. Now, don't be discouraged. We're here to guide you, not intimidate you. In the world of coding, being multilingual is a big asset, but due to some other factors that you should consider when learning your first languages, namely transferability, I am certainly nudging people in my network towards learning a popular backend language first. And if you want a free formal guide on choosing your first language, head on over to skillfoundry.io and check out the Getting Started in Software Development course. It will guide you through the factors you should consider as well as the pros and cons of different starting languages and the careers that they map to. Happy coding.